In chapter three, we take a look at capability index. This is uh, slide 16. Um, and the capability index is uh, listed as a C sub P, and it is equal to the upper specification limit minus the lower specification limit divided by six standard deviations. When we take a look at the capability index, what we're really looking at here is a bell curve, and you'll have to forgive me, drawing is not my forte. But we're looking at literally our mean with three standard deviations in each direction is what we are taking a look at here. And what we are doing is we are taking this bell curve and we are going to literally rotate it on its side and saying here is our mean and we want three standard deviations on either side of that mean is what we're looking with a capability index and this is actually a timed look here so there will be increments going on so with our capability index, we are looking at an upper specification limit and a lower specification limit to begin with. And right now we're going to be given literally a mean number and be told to go up or down. So if we go back to chapter three and if we take a look at uh, 17, slide number 17, we have an example that we're going to be working here with a capability index. And it says the specification from the manufacturer of a particular type of metal coating call for the temperature of the drying oven to be 370 degrees plus or minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The company that is considering using this coating has run tests by taking a large number of temperature readings uh, from various parts of the, its oven at random times. The standard deviation of the readings about the mean temperature setting was found to be 2.06 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the capability index? Looking at this, we have 370 degrees plus or minus 10. That right there is the numbers we need to use. Our upper specification limit is going to be 370 degrees plus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Our lower specification limit is going to be 370 degrees minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are looking at here the plus or the minus. So our upper specification limit is going to be 380 degrees Fahrenheit, our lower is going to be 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, notice I am labeling what I am talking about. It's what, what's the units that I am using? So knowing that, we can take a look at our capability index, which is our upper specification limit minus our lower specification limit divided by six standard deviations. We said our upper specification limit was 380 degrees. Our lower specification limit was 360 degrees. This is all going to be divided by six standard deviations. What was the standard deviations? Going back to the problem, it said that it was 2.06 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I do the math on this, I'm going to take a look at 380 minus 360, which is 20, divided by 6 times 2.06, and I get 12.36 for that. If I take 20 and divide it by 12.36, my capability index becomes 1.618122, whatever it goes out. And depending on uh, what you're doing will depend on 
how far out you take things right now. I'm taking it out to uh, probably about the 1.618 is as far as you need to go. Now, what does that number mean? In a capability index, if something is greater than 1.0, or I should say equal to or greater than 1.0, that means it's capable. If it is less than 1.0, this process is not capable of doing what we want it to do. So at 1.618, I am saying that this process, the drying ovens that we are using, are capable of drying the metal coating. Now, for those of you who work with Six Sigma, the capability index is risen, it rises up to 2.0. For purposes in this class, we will be using just a straight capability, not a Six Sigma capability index at 1.0. But you do need to know that there is a differentiation.